I'm still busy with some calculated columns. I mean, there's definitely a lot of cool stuff you can do with uh, calculated columns. And this is an example I've uh, actually done, and I'm going to just take this uh, item and I'm going to edit it. So um, let me just add uh, some of the columns. So I've got order date. So it's the 13th, and delivery date would be 28th. Purchase price, I'm going to say, was 100 czar. Selling price is 150 czar. Look at us winning at life. So um, I've built a calculated column that works out the profit. Okay, so it's just subtracting the two. I'm going to show you what the column looks like, um, the settings. And uh, there, if I go to profit, you'll see that I just did a calculated column, and I said, double clicked on selling price. I said selling price minus purchase price, return it as currency, put two decimals in and I chose Zara for South Africa. Okay. What I now want to do is I also want to bring in the percentage profit. So yes, I can do this in one column, but I actually want to see the profit separately. And that's why I did a separate column. So I'm going to add another column and I'm going to say percentage profit. I can't remember if it's going to allow me to do that percentage, but anyway, we'll find out. So again, it's a calculated column. And now I'm going to say that percentage profit is going to be my profit divided by my original purchase price. So divide purchase price. And uh, how do I want this uh, value to be returned? Of course, I want it returned as a number. And as soon as I say number, I can choose decimal places, so maybe I don't want to see more than one decimal place, and this is where I'll then say, show it as a percentage. So calculated column, I said, um, it's the profit amount divided by the purchase price, return it as a number, only show one decimal, and then show it as a percentage. So let's go, see what this is doing. Also remember that any calculated columns will never show on the form, so if I had to go new, you'll see that none of those things are showing. So let's just add a new product number three and order date. So the order gets placed tomorrow and the delivery date is uh, end of the month. And my purchase price is uh, 50 czar and my selling price is 150 czar. And I'm gonna save it. So no calculated columns here on the form, but as soon as I add that item, Look at what happens here. It's saying, look at you. You've made a hundred uh, czars and your percentage profit was 200%. Isn't that amazing? And it just works like that automatically. We're definitely going to play around on this list a bit to look at this new whole formatting we can do on columns. So maybe somewhere I want to format this column to say that whenever I make profit that's less than 50%, I want it to write like bright red light up or something or notify someone or write a little flow on it or something. I mean, we could get quite creative with this, but that's calculated columns. I brought a column in to work out the profit for me and then I brought a column in. So that's quite horrible. It's not right centering it, but you know. and then I brought a column in that says work out the percentage for me and give it to me back as a um, the profit and work, give it to me back as a percentage. Very, very cool little thing you can do. So there you go. Go be awesome. Save time. Do some crazy stuff in your department.